Hey guys, Moose here. We are back with some more Life is Feudal Forest Village. We need a builder to finish this. So we're gonna there. Oh, no, 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 we don't. Never mind. Misinterpreted the meaning of that question mark. Apologies. Been a little bit since I played. Uh, things have been pretty busy. Had a lot going on in my personal life. Things got kind of crazy at work and I had a few... Not situations, just things to, to deal with. Nothing bad, just, you know, stuff that needed to get done. Looks like we have a good amount of space in our houses. Pretty happy about that. I think we're going to get more kids soon. I think. Food reserves are low, but I think that's a variety issue. But we got the others up, so that should be fine. I don't see it getting low. Because we have a good amount of variety between the hunter from the fishing lodge. Of course, the fruit and vegetables. Fantastic. I did want to expand out this way, I think. My plan was kind of to keep this area wild and then here. So, probably going to keep that. Gather it can. Or out can it can. Buy us a little space down as well. I want to keep the uh, gathers. Oh. Off now. Here, and you know what? I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna leave those up for the gatherers lodge. We'll definitely not really. I mean, we'll build some more houses over here, but we're probably gonna get a lot of good on. We're totally good on food. We're good on firewood. Well. So, what do I want to work on here? Did I level this out? Yeah, I guess I did. I don't even remember doing that. Alright, so this is all going to be about gathering, and then at that point we need to look at what we do next. We got a hunting cabin, got a gather set. So these three are done. We can build an orchard, field, coop, windmill, bakery, apiary. None of those really make sense to do next because that's all food related, and we're good on food. So what about resources? Forester's Lodge we don't need, and we have plenty of wood that we can get if we need. Lumberjack, same thing. We have that, actually. Uh, stone quarry, we might want to do. I'm not sure how this works, to be honest. How oh, does it get big? It looks like it's a small thing. We might build that. Or mine might do as well. But I think clay, the only way we could get clay is by doing this. So we go ahead and do this. Give that a shot. I just want to see how, because I have no idea how that works, so I'm just going to try and see what happens. Blacksmith shop, I think I might do it. This I might put, like, closer to town. And say, like, I don't really know what the front is. But, like, put it right there. That going. Um, Weaver's workshop is going to be good, but we're not there yet, because we don't really have thread or anything, I think, and we probably need some more material. Furnace, I think we want, and we'll probably put that. Let's let's wait for the the blacksmith shop to finish building, and we'll put a furnace near it. Uh, kiln, we're gonna want to. Carpenter, probably not yet. Leave carpenter, or did we already make a carpenter one? No, I don't think we did. Everything else is just houses. That's fine. Okay. Get hurry up and get pregnant, Aya. You're only nine. That you can totally Caden should not be in. You guys move in together and have a baby. Need more children. Only got two kids. Oh, two kids. Okay. So three teenagers and two kids. That's Making progress. So what do we need here? Do we not have clay? No, we have clay. So what's the deal? That's stone. You got everything, I think. Yeah, so it's just a question of building it. Oh, that's ore, so that's clay. All right, we're actually kind of short on clay. But that's okay, because we're going to have this. Uh, probably get another couple builders, because we have um, a pretty good number of people. Yeah, three workers, three builders. That's fine. Because we have a lot of stuff building right now, so no problem. We'll take them off builders shortly. We just want to get this stuff built up. Why is this Z? Very strange. 
Oh, it's fine. Did that guy just kill a bear? I missed. I, I was not looking at that at that moment. But it looked like a bear just. Was that the hunter getting rid of a bear? I don't know. It's okay. Alright, well. What about skins? What do we do with skin? Hides. Is that Weaver? Are we going to use Weaver for that? Clothes sewing. Doesn't seem that way. Port, school. We probably want a school at some point. Educated workers probably works the same as Banished, where they're more efficient. It's not meaningful. I mean, we don't need it. Herbless to heal. Probably the same thing. Funeral pyre. We probably don't need that yet. Crypt is good too. Well, we already have. Port, we really don't need. Alright, clay mine's done. So that's just like a mound. Assign a couple people to it and take off builder. We just need one builder. Yo, let's go nuts. Do they just like go into it? Yeah, I guess they just like it's a hole and they go. That's really cool. I like that. Can I like. There's a way to control people. I want to see like, can I do that? What are you? You look like a baby. I can't control you. You're three. But you look like a grown man. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Um, you're carrying this. Oh, I paused. Okay, I hit space. You're eating. But like, what are you? What if I... Yeah, I want to see like if I can go into the... Uh, and by the way, this is, I don't think I've showed this feature yet. This is one of the features that kind of makes this a little bit more interesting. The Banished is you can actually take control of a person and walk around. You're carrying stuff. That's cool. What if I, like, go in? Because this is cool. Is that... I'm just there now? Okay, so it, like, doesn't let... Okay, I don't know what the hell happened there. Maybe, he, like, during that time I was working and it was going, not showing anything because it doesn't anything. I don't know. I kind of wanted to see what happened there. That's cool. Why is this? I don't understand why this is easy. Okay. But there's like... Do we not have enough wood? Yeah, we don't. Okay, we don't have enough wood. That's... Alright, well that makes sense. We need more wood. We will get more wood. For now, we'll take the builder off so we can gather more. Cut down lots of wood. I think is totally cu cured up, uh, queued up. So. Kill the bear, please. We have a hunter, right? Yeah, we do have a hunter. Where is he? What if I do this? Is it just no one? Like... Getting warm. Well, what if I don't want you? If I want you, you're a bear. Come here, bear. Come on, kill the bear. I'm inside the bear, and I'm killing it. And now it's dead. Sweet. Okay. So you actually can kill, like, actually straight up. Okay. Um. You. Murder this. I'm not okay with the bears walking around. Kill them myself. 
I don't know if they even do anything, but I'm just kind of like, no. You don't get to be. There we go. I think the hunter is supposed to do that. That's okay. Wow, we actually tanked on fire. And we're out of wood. I guess it probably took a lot to make the clay mine. Let's, like, take one. First, and we'll try and accumulate some wood. I don't know why we're gathering anything right now. It seems like no one's working. 20. Okay, so if that goes up, we know we're getting wood. Okay, we are getting wood. It's just very slow for some reason. This is strange to me. We're kind of running out of food, too. I mean, not running out, but we're losing variety. Yes. The fruit's gone. Vegetables are going down. It is, where does it say, early spring of year three, so we can assign gatherers, but I kind of want to focus on getting wood right now. I don't really want to worry about the because we are very low on we're gonna need, We are going to need heat more than we're going to need uh, food at this point. Okay, so now it's just down to the build. Let's assign one person, get that over with. Hopefully bank on some more adults. Uh, someone came of age. Good. You know what? I'm going to put two gatherers in. Because we'll get... Stuff will come with time. But food, we have a pretty short window to get. And firewood is going quite far. Used to be up near K. On the floor. Not okay. Why is it taking so long to get wood? Is it because they're getting other stuff for It's unfortunate. Life goes on. We're doing okay on clay. I mean, want more. I think this, I read that this is the only way to get clay. But I like that it works this way, though. Rather than uh, banish where you'd have to, like, designate a whole big area. And it wouldn't be that bad to designate a big area in this because there's so much space. But still. It's a lot. See, this is the kind of place where I'd like to own property. I know that's probably really bad investment, but I'd like to live somewhere like that. If you could give me a place like this with like good internet and then like good shopping nearby for fresh food of all varieties, then I'd be thrilled. Basically, the only reason I have any desire whatsoever to live in a uh, in a area like a city. I guess we need to. Um, yeah, my only desire to live anywhere near a city or any major population center is basically just so that I have access to food. Like more than just all right. Well, you got a Safeway and a Walmart. That's not good enough for me. I want more than that. I don't know. That's how I feel. I like being able to cook interesting stuff. And it's not really interesting. It's usually just like, well, I want to be able to get... I'm probably going to get shit on for this, but... Chicken from Whole Foods is of a higher quality than chicken from, like... It just... It's fresher to me. It seems better. And you pay a premium for that, whether it's perceived or real, that's, you know, up for debate. I personally find it to be of higher quality, so I, I respect that people might disagree with me. There's nothing wrong with that. Charcoal, how do I make charcoal? What about you? I gotta figure out how to make This is gonna be interesting. I guess a kiln? Let's... Right? Just try it. Thank you. So... <sighs> it's not exclusive to Whole Foods. Like, for some stuff... I don't know. Like, Trader Joe's seems to be... Reasonably good quality um, fruits and vegetables. 
but there's a local place nearby that just it's more it's kind of like in the rich area so it's like all right well if you're a rich jackass this is probably where you shop and you're usually the people i run into there are kind of assholes but it's like their their fruit and vegetables are second to none and it just it works okay so this is really annoying so you have to take wood turn it into firewood and then you turn firewood into charcoal and you turn charcoal and ore into cast iron and then you turn cast iron to to with wood and I don't see this this doesn't make sense if you're putting ore into the process at this step to make cast iron why are you putting more ore in the process shouldn't it just all be cast iron seems very strange anyway we need to be making firewood so get that going and definitely get rid of the builder so we need wood like critically uh i think we'll get it I'm not too concerned. We just kind of have to let it run at this point. But maybe if we... What are you? You're eating? You're four. Five. Find me an adult. What about you? Carrying food to house. German. Okay, so this tells me what they're doing. You're a worker. Okay, I'll follow you. Carrying the story. Not good enough. You are going to chop wood, because I'm fucking tired of waiting for you to chop wood. Find the resource, thank you. I have no idea what the abilities do, but I'm using them periodically. You did a thing, I don't know what it was that you did. This is very... I, I gotta read up on what... Okay, I'm gonna let someone else haul the stuff, let the AI do it, because I don't really know where to make it exactly, but I am gonna keep chomping. Ability number six, whatever that does. God only knows. Come on, chop that wood. I don't know what the horn does. I All I know is this tree's going down. Good work. How about this tree? I do not care about bushes. Bushes can fuck off. Trees are the only thing that matters. This time we'll blow the horn. There, the horn has been blown. Are people gonna come help me? Is that what that does? I don't think that's what that does. Good work. Okay, well that tree went down much faster, so maybe I should start blowing the horn. Like, exclusively blowing. Alright, clipping through the tree a little, but that's not something that I think is reasonable to complain about in this game. I think that's totally... Because this isn't really how you're meant to play it anyway. Yeah, okay, horn is, like, OP. Keep doing the horn. You know what I'd really like? What What's really missing is a game like this that has multiplayer. If you put out a game like, like more, I would love, absolutely love, I think this is something that we're hopefully going to see more of in the coming, you know, next decade or so, is people who grew up playing games are kind of aging. We're getting... I think we're getting to the point where people who really, like... Like, there was always the nerds, right? And I'm one of those. So I'm 30 right now, and I, I see myself as, like, an early early adopter. Still. And I, I know that's, you know, bullshit. Especially if you're watching this, you're not probably not going to agree with that, because you're in my group, too. But I think there's a lot of people that started playing games, like, above and beyond, that wouldn't have 10 years prior to when they were, that were like, 10 years younger than me, I would say. Like, people who are just hitting their 20s right now, so I guess people who were born in, like, the early... Or mid to early 90s. No, that's wrong. Um, holy shit, it's 2016. <laughs> so I guess, like, almost millennials now, at this point. 
I feel like there's a lot of people who grew up with more of that, more gaming, who are kind of reaching the point now where they're they're becoming like legitimate adults, meaning that they're in like long-term committed relationships in some cases. And I think enough of the market maybe will hopefully get to that point in the next 10 years where we'll be able to see games like this and say, you know, looking at it from my perspective, I, I've, frankly, in my opinion, I talk about her too much, but, you know, there's Karen. I, Karen's my girlfriend. I'm probably going to wind up married. I love her a lot, and but we're in, it's a good relationship, very solid. She plays games, too. And I think that's a big part of why we have such a good relationship. A lot of fun together, because we can play games together. But there aren't really... Like, she's more of a console gamer, an RPG gamer. And there's a lot of stuff that I'm interested in that she's not interested in. And I think a lot of stuff like a game like this that she, I think, would have a lot of fun playing. Or Stardew Valley is another good example, which we're actually, we're waiting for the multiplayer for. There's a lot of opportunities for maybe the both of us to be able to sit down on the weekend and say, like, hey, we're going to have fun playing this together. Where they don't have multiplayer yet. And I, I hope that a lot of people like me well, just gamers and people who are in a relate, you know, people who are gamers who are in a relationship with another gamer, hopefully are aging and entering those relationships. It's, you know, very much a long-term relationship with someone. You just come in and use it. Still don't really know what the horn does, but anyway, I I hope that a lot of people are reaching that point where. They're, you know, they're interested in that, and I hope that it creates a market where there's there's more games that have co-op in such a way where, you know, I can I can go play with, you know, theoretically in the future my wife, and say, you know, hey, this is a nice relaxing game where we're building a town together. I think that's a really good opportunity, for, like, really good multiplayer to play with someone that you're close with, and I. I feel like especially as the gaming population grows older and I, I when you get older you get to a point where you don't necessarily get to spend that much time with friends because you've got work and you know kids and really the the one friend in life that you get to have is your spouse in a lot of ways if if you go that route in your life and, you know staying single or not having kids or Whatever works for you in your life is completely valid. I'm not saying that you need to have a spouse and be, you know, norm, normative relationship or whatever you want to call it. Do whatever works for you. I'm just saying from my perspective and probably from the statistical majority, you kind of wind up in a situation where your spouse is sort of the only one that you really get to spend that much time with. And I feel like there's a lot of opportunity there's a, there's a growing market, I would say, for games that cater to, like, two-player relaxing co-op for two adults to kind of sit down after a long day of work and, and spend time together. And I'd like to see more of that, personally. And that's just specifically for me and my relationship, you know. I know what kind of games Karen is, and I, I'd really like to be able to play some. Because there's not too many good co-op opportunities. And like I said, I really hope more of those would come in the future, because it'd be really nice, for obvious reasons. And you know, even better if you could have some where it's like, you know, this is something to play with your kids. And some of them, I've, I've read some really interesting stuff where like, parents say, you know, hey, I really, I'm really appreciative of the uh, Nintendo Wii, because I was able, I think it was the Wii, Super Mario Galaxy? It's like a really good situation where you know it, it's easy enough for a really really young kid to play but it also kind of gives an opportunity for parents to kind of come in and get their kid too and i think gaming gaming is beautiful and there's a lot of things in gaming that i'm very happy we have and fantastic I really hope that we get more opportunities to uh kind of have more more diverse experiences where you know you're Gaming is a family, a little bit, and it doesn't have to be the whole family, it could just be, you know, a parent and a kid, it could be parents, it could be, it doesn't matter, just something that's a little bit better for co-op. 
cut down a lot. That's all I'm looking for. So I'd just like to see more of that. I think, I think probably in the next couple decades, hopefully we'll see more of that. Because it's very nice, and I think, you know, there's people talk about, you know, hey, will you be my player too? As like a marriage proposal. But like, for real, that's... Shouldn't that be an actual thing? Like, why not play games together? Not every game. It doesn't have to be everything. You don't want to spend all your time with your spouse that start to hate each other after a while if you do that. But, you know, have some more games, like, especially like this game would be a prime example. And like I said, we're waiting for Stardew Valley. It's going to be another one. But relaxing games like that, where it's kind of a, a broad appeal to a lot of people, I think it'd be fantastic to be able to play. So, anyway... Sorry for that wild tangent that I went on there. Very much enjoyed talking about that. I think it's a very interesting subject, and if you have any thoughts on the matter, I would love to hear about it in the comments. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you'll join us for the next one as well. Take care.